After my firstborn, um, I had a great experience. I just really felt like I wanted a more patient-centered um, type of care where it was more of like a whole, uh, whole person approach. I knew there was different things that I wanted to prioritize uh, and I just wanted to be somewhere where I could ask those que questions safely and know that I could have those hard or honest conversations and get the feedback necessary to make you know, a responsible decision, whatever it may be about. I also like that they um, are very involved with the birthing process. So it's not just about all the appointments leading up to the birth, but they're in a way they like kind of coach you through the entire labor. Uh, I, it was so magical to have that help because I know it's different for everyone, but I ended up being able to do it without an epidural strictly because of how helpful um, the midwives were in, in coaching me through the breathing, the process, the pain just that additional care that I did not get to experience with my first. And I think just because it's not traditional. And this one, based on how it was going, I had signed up just to try the water birth in the hospital, which I had no idea was an option with, you know, in the hospital. I thought that was just for birthing centers or at home. And that was another thing that was really in, in, um, empowering to me too, because I wanted the best of both worlds. I wanted to be in a hospital, have that you know security of like knowing I'm in the right place if there was an emergency, but also knowing I could fulfill my desire to try to birth again without any um, you know medication, I guess. And I was able to do that. So she was born in the water with the midwives, and it was amazing. So. you know, the, the philosophy of a midwife is really about making sure women feel safe, feel, uh, you know, providing a safe space so that they can feel comfortable to ask questions and learn about their bodies and their pregnancies and really be a part of the care. So our job really is about not saying this is what is always what's best for you, but saying here are your options, here are the risks and the benefits, and then going back to the patient and empowering them to make the best decision for themselves. Um, you know, I always tell patients because there are so many misconceptions, like, do I have to, you know, go unmedicated? Can I get an epidural? It's like, yes, absolutely. Like, um, there isn't one way to do something, you know? So if somebody wants to go natural and go unmedicated, they can come to our practice and still have an unmedicated, natural, beautiful birth in the hospital setting. They can, um, have a water birth if they, you know, all these things. So they can still move around and eat and drink. And, you know, we don't have to do interventions if, if not needed, right? Um, but if something does come up, we're in the hospital setting. So we have options.